and it smells amazing. It just smells like an actual smoothie. And I love the sparkles at the top. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I think I'm officially obsessed with using bio glitters and soap. Hey guys, Kale is right there behind me. And I'm back with another video because I was not gonna film this, but I realized, hey, this is a new product. We should do that. I should show you guys how I make this soap. And it's been a while since I've done a I make soap video. So let's make this soap together. And this soap is gonna be different because it's a brand new scent or flavor that I've never done before. I'm gonna be mixing some scents together to form a completely unique scent. And on top of that, I'm going to be using bio glitter on top. I feel like with 2021, I just wanna throw glitter on everything. And I think it's gonna look really, really nice. I had a, a washer. Someone who watches my videos comment that they use bio glitters on top of their soap and I thought oh I should try that and I'm gonna be doing that today so if that sounds like something you'd want to watch keep watching if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Jerrica and I am the owner and creator of quench and on this channel I show you everything about my business how I make my products like today's video how I sell those products and I offer tips and tricks on how to help you run your business in 2021. So now without further ado, let's get to the video. So if you guys are wondering what my soap closet looks like, this is what it looks like. I have my oils and there's a few solid things in those buckets. There's lye in one of these buckets, hollow wax, our foaming bath butter base. And up here is a bunch of other ingredients. I know it looks super unorganized. That's because it is, I'm hoping maybe in 2021, we're gonna find a better way to organize everything because if I have to find something, I'm mostly looking under and over and around things and that's really not the best way to keep things organized. So yeah, project in 2021 hopefully and there's more ingredients up there. So for today's soap, we're gonna be using hemp oil, olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil and shea butter as our oils. I just mixed up the lye and distilled water together that's cooling over there in the back and I'm now going to be pouring my oils. For those of you wondering, I used to get my coconut oil from Costco. They used to sell coconut oil in three kilos. How big was the coconut oil in Costco? It was like slightly smaller than this one. It was like a bucket. And then they stopped carrying it, which is so sad because that was the cheapest I could find coconut oil. If there are places where you get your coconut oil at a really great price, please let me know. Comment it down below so that everyone else it was knows about this. It was 3.79 liters. We have an old bucket yeah. of it in there that does not have coconut oil. So once that was discontinued at Costco, I decided to get a bunch of coconut oil from New Directions Aromatics, and that's where I get my coconut oil now. And when I bought all that coconut oil, I thought for sure I'd go through it really slowly, but this year was crazy. I have only a few pails left, so I have to buy more coconut oil. So when I make my soap, I try to make two loaves at once. And the recipe that I provide, it's for one loaf, one five pound loaf. But I usually have two loaves going at the same time to save time. And if you are doing this as a business, the more you find ways to produce more product at in less time, the better it is for you. The first step for me after measuring out and mixing my distilled water and lye is to measure out my hard oils, my shea butter and my coconut oil, because it takes a while for it all to melt down. I melt it down slowly on the stove in a water bath and it takes about an hour to do that. So I do that first before I measure anything else. So for my shea butter, I get my shea butter in 25 kilo boxes from New Directions Aromatics. They have the best price that I've seen for refined organic shea butter, which is what I use. And the reason why I use refined shea butter is because anything that isn't refined will often come with a smell, a very strong, distinct smell. For example, unrefined cocoa butter smells just like chocolate. It's so cool in the right products but if that's not what you want your product to smell, it will literally overwhelm that. So I just try to use refined shea butter and New Directions has an organic 
version, which the price is really good. But I have noticed over the years, I started soaping about three years ago, the price of shea butter has gone up every single year. Not by a little bit, by like 20 bucks each time. So I guess it's just inflation for you. Still, it's really interesting. So now that these oils are measured out, I'm going to melt them slowly over the stove top through a water bath. And it should take about an hour for it to melt down to liquid form. Oh, that's heavy. So now that that is on the stove top, come with me back to the soap closet where I am going to be grabbing my liquid oils. Organic, unrefined hemp seed oil, olive oil, and castor oil. Remember what I said about unrefined shea butter having a distinct smell? and that's why I don't use it. Well, unrefined hemp seed oil is similar. There is a scent that this oil smells like. It smells kind of like grass. Like, what's, what's the scent I'm trying to think of? Can you think, can you, what, how would you describe the scent, Kale, of hemp seed oil? Earthy. It's very earthy. Musty. Musty? <laughs> no, I would say earthy is the better word for it, but the reason why I don't mind this smell is because you don't smell it in the body lotions, the body butters, and all the other things that I use this in. So unrefined hemp seed oil is okay for me. The scent doesn't transfer to the finished product. Whereas unrefined shea butter, unrefined coconut oil, and unrefined cocoa butter, those are very, very strong. I just poured my hemp seed oil into my beaker and I'm going to portion off a few grams into my candy dish because that is where I'm going to disperse some white titanium dioxide. When working with titanium dioxide that is oil soluble, which is the type that I use, I like to disperse it in a light oil like hemp seed oil, but any other light oil will do like sweet almond oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil. All of those oils have similar properties. It's always fun to watch hemp seed oil being poured into the pot. Wow, so cool. So for today's soap, it's going to be a blend that I'm gonna create and it will be strawberry, banana, mango, and orange. It's a very fruity smelling soap. All of these blended together will hopefully make for a very awesome fruity scented soap. And for the colors of the soap, it's gonna be a mainly pink soap since going to be mostly a strawberry scented soap with yellow, red, and and then on the top I'm going to be dusting it lightly with bio glitter that I get from this fairy in Carnival. So I just poured my scent blend and I'm obsessed. It smells so good. So my hard oils are now liquid and my lye has cooled down and now we are going to mix everything together and I brought in my beautiful assistant to film me to do this because I don't know if it's going to seize on me so that's what you're gonna yeah. help me with today who knows it's a new oil so who knows how fast or slow it's gonna it's be a new blend now I'm going to add four teaspoons of cow and clay to the oil so one two three four so now we're gonna add this lye to the oils and then stick blend it all together until it's emulsified Now I'm going to split the batch in half and I'm going to color and scent roughly one half of the batch with the fragrance oil and color it with pink mica, kind of eyeballing it here. And this is mica mauve from Windy Point and I'm pretty generous with the mica. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pour about half of this into there. And now we're going to stick blend this together until it's thickened up. How do I get 
get this low You come over and we start a fight Never know who's wrong or right Feel nothing when you go I know it's not intelligent Drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant now We should talk about with us How come we're holding on Was really I don't see the benefits now And you've broken my trust So I just wonder Why do I fall back to you Really nothing I can do about it why do I fall back to you? It's like you're a drug to me, I can't quit It's not like we're still 22 Trying something new, just a pastime I don't think that we ever could work this out None of it makes sense, there's no reason why Why I still fall back to you?
I think I got the both of us in now. That's how tall I am. <laughs> so we just pour the soap and I was able to film the whole thing thanks to you. Thank you so much for helping me. Sometimes you need a little help, you know? And so what we're gonna do is put the soap to bed, clean up, and then we are going to cut it tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day and I have the strawberry banana soap over here that is ready to be cut. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like right now. Final soap cut and oh my gosh it turned out so good and it smells amazing it just smells like an actual smoothie and I love the sparkles at the top oh my goodness it's so pretty I think I'm officially obsessed with using bio glitters and soap I think the effect is so cute and because it's such a fun and fruity scent i feel that I feel like this would be a popular soap for kids but also popular soap for young for young people as well it's just such a fun soap oh my gosh i love it so that is it for that video i am so glad that it turned out and because i was filming myself making that so for the very first time, you never know how it's gonna be and it really went as good as a soap could have. So I'm really, really happy about that. I really hope that you guys like this type of video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. And oh, there's Kale in the background. And if you have already subscribed, you guys are the best. I've been loving seeing the familiar names come up in the comments and reading them and answering them. So thank you again for that. Stay tuned in the next couple of days for videos where I show you how I make more product and can't wait for you guys to see what I have in store for 2021. Until then, happy new year. Keep shining, keep evolving, and keep aspiring to be the best business owners that we could be. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.